Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. I was doing some stuff yesterday. Oh. I put the date in wrong. Oh, well. Fix that. <laughs> I love it. It was intending to, to stream yesterday, but I kind of got into stuff for other reasons. Uh, do you remember this? This is where we were. Realized I, I needed to get my uh, 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 Red Mage and my uh, Gunbreaker some new gear. Uh, some Char gear. And I realized I haven't been farming Poetics. <laughs> I still need to farm Poetics for when I hit 70 and uh, complete the um, his Stormblood the regular Stormblood storyline. But we're doing the storyline in Monk, so we're going to stick with it. So we were told to come to uh, Arcoro and uh, find somebody familiar. Where's the thing? Yeah, look for a familiar face in, in Onokoro. And we find Tutsui, Intensui, who, who was on the south side of the map. By the way, you'll notice that I've revealed a bunch of the map uh, because I have done some ether current stuff. Trying to, to get ahead on those. Fringes and peaks are uh, blocked by uh, I'm just cute. Uh Same for the Ruby C. Mute my watch. But as you can see, there is one uh, current that I haven't missed, uh, haven't gotten in the, the Ruby C. And there's a bunch of quests because a bunch of quests are. I think there's MSQ. Uh, quests and some that are locked behind getting further. We haven't gotten far into the Ruby Sea. We just got here, so. What winds, winds bring you to hither to follow places? Were you not bound for Anthar shores? Yeah, well, we kind of ran into some Imperials. I see. I trust you have not forgotten your previous con conversation on the subject. No? What do you want? Second opinion? Very well. Come with me. I'll take you to the captain, Rasho. Or Rasho. Just like that, an audience with their leader. How very accommodating. We must needs choose our words carefully. You leave it to me. I have always been good with people, and this will also give me a chance to use the Eastern greeting they showed me at Revenant's Toll. I suppose I could put a pop, probably pop on my choke about to do this. I'll go a little bit faster. Greetings. You must be Rasha, leader of the Confederacy, and so on. I realize this is all a bit sudden, but the thing is, we have a little favor to ask. Gods, I'm probably broken half a dozen rules of Far Eastern etiquette already. Well, I'm sorry about that, but you have to understand that we're in a hurry, so I'm going to stop talking now. Men who revere manners and traditions can be found the world over, but not here. Your candor is appreciated. Speak your heart. So uh, we're trying to get to Antar so that we can go to Doma, to free Doma, and we're, uh, Gosetsu uh, got captured. <laughs> Gosetsu, former leader of the rebellion. Aye, I know of him. Why he bade you petition us for aid and succor, however, I know not. At the risk of repeating myself, to join the Confederacy is to renounce all of the ties. 
We are beholden to none, allied with none. When Doma was invaded by the Empire 25 years ago, we did not rush to our defense. Knowing this, do you honestly expect us to help you drive the Imperial forces out of Isari? The Galleons have long maintained a presence in this region, and we would be fools to break the peace, fragile as it is. Despite, we have uh, capable warriors, yes. With guile and preparation, we can surely resolve this matter ourselves. It is imperative that our presence here remain secret for as long as possible. For us to openly engage the Imperials at this time would endanger everything we have come here to achieve. You have told us why you cannot you have told us why you cannot fight. No, not why we we should fight in your stead. If you should speak to me of lives saved, I would speak of, to you of slaughter. How many will die when all pretense is lost and the Guardians declare war in the Confederacy? Hate is a luxury we cannot afford. We are free to come and go as we, you are free to come and go as we please, but you will receive no further aid. Thank you for your hospitality, if you will excuse us. It's a delicate situation. Hey, Essegos, I know that didn't go well, but I'm not prepared to give up on them yet. Rosetsu told us to come here for a reason. He must have believed we could convince them to help us. We must have to work out. My thoughts exactly. I'm glad to hear we're of the same mind. There's little wonder they refused. We were looking on not to persuade them. We've done not to persuade them. The real work begins now. We need to learn more about the Confederacy, what their needs and weaknesses are. Once we know that, we know how to earn their trust. Arms and armor have been uh, piled up haphazardly. They display no signs of recent use or maintenance. A number of crates and barrels have been stored here. On closer inspection, however, most are empty. Hmm, taking an interest in the ship. Eh, a good eye. She's not much much to look at now, but once upon a time, she was a beauty. Confederacy favors flotillas of smaller ships to capture and board errant vessels. The large ones, like this uh, Sekibune, only take part in major engagements. Not that we've had any of those recently, but with those imperial bastards throwing their weight around, if it wasn't for them, well... No use moaning about what we can't change, eh?
Had a good look around. Then we just need to wait for Lise. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I want to talk to as many people as I could. It's just as Tansui sa said. They had no intentions of standing up to Yatsuyu. I don't know if you two got a different impression. Uh, I think the situation is coming to a head. I agree. It's obvious that they are struggling to survive and that they blame the Imperials for their recent troubles. Even if it, we do nothing, it is inevitable that they will come into conflict with the Empire sooner or later. Deep down, they all know it. The only thing holding them back at the moment is the belief that they lack the strength to survive the coming war. So we need to prove to them that we're not all, that we're not all talk, that we can, can be valuable allies in a fight. What better way to demonstrate our worth than by seeking out people with mundane problems and offering them our expert, expert assistance? Wouldn't be the first time we've had to earn somebody's trust by helping them out with this and that, and you know it won't be the last. I'll look around the western end of Honor Honor to take the east. Good luck. I need to clean out my coffers. Uh, emotes. Just got Eastern Bow. I have an emote bar now. All right. Call me, take me, what kind of pirate can I uh, s suffer the sway of the ocean? Hmm, a new recruit from far flung shores. Listen well, I have a task for you. Go first to Alcuma below and receive a for medicine for men of the earth. Then to Quickscape Pier and ha the hapless Domin and bemoaning his wretched fate. Quickly! Come on, be has to fulfill me for the medicine. My very best is yours for the taking. A pitiful lot of this dome and unable to stomach the sea. True Confederate would raid a dozen ships with, while in his cups. Mayhaps this one would, should return once he came. You strike me as a strong and capable individual. I have a job for you, Westerner, if you are courageous as well. On the beach far to the west lies the carcass of a Gyuki, fed those with their arrows. I would have you go and retrieve those, which may still be of use. While you're at it, you might as well do... While you're at it, I should be glad if you would butcher its tail for meat. Very good meat in Gyuki tails. You know? But I did say you would need to be a a courageous soul, and I meant it. The beast was young. Do not be surprised if an angry mother mourns his sh its child. You there, are you? Have you seen a blubbering clod of an aura? A new recruit I ordered to patrol the northern edge of Onokoro. He's late in returning. Strange boy who was, quiet and brooding, 
locked in to speak unless spoken to first. Better than, better that than a fool who never holds his tongue, perhaps. Much as I would ra enjoy dragging him back by the ear, I cannot. Duty compels me to remain. On the other hand, have you, on the other hand, have no obligation. He's a run nonetheless. Oh, why is it shift and shutter still? Oh. Landlubber. Landlubber's best mate. <laughs> mm. Medicines? Give me here. Oh, they may look down on me for resorting to such measures, but I would do all to render the world stable and motionless once more. Your kind, as is a Fumi. You may tell her that I will return to my duties as soon as I am able. Oh, where is that bugger? You cast about for the Confederate recruit, but ne see no one matching his description. Oh, not here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You guys about the Confederate recruit, and last by a young RE man lurking behind the rocks to the west. I don't know how I saw him. He was completely hidden from view. Who, who are you? You do not look like a man of the Confederacy. Yeah, but you're kind of being looked for. Oh, forgive me, Twas but yesterday that I bid farewell to one of our own, and I worried that she might have lost her way. We laid her to rest in a boat and pushed her out till the current claimed it, for the sea is our home, now and never after. But those sent hither and with burdened hearts may drift back to shore, it said. Our concern of her for her comrades, she strove to earn far more than her keep. She hunted rare and deadly game in the treacherous waters and lost her life for it. When my vigil is ended, the vessel is not returned to Anakoro. She has made peace with this life and placed her faith in us to live on. Oh. He was sure and all was well with their, their burial ritual. If she had come back, he would brought her back to the sea.
your arrows, put your tail. Look, butchering takes a while. All right, now you can just uh, teleport back to Anakoro. I'm also going to refresh my food buff. What am I recruit? Did you find him napping on the beach or some such? Actually, he was making sure that... What sort of thing? What? All this time he was standing watch for the funerary vessel, huh? So rarely does he give voice to his thoughts. I had no idea how to Amrud's death had affected him so. Too quick was I to judge him. It is good that you went to my stead, else I might have misspoken and made a fool of myself. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Some money. And XP. You've been away for some time. Perhaps in search of the young Yuki corpse? Well, yeah, found him. Here's the arrows of meat. Oh, I see. I didn't misjudge you. Thank you for your help. Would that I could have attended to to my own kill, but such is life. A pity that the, the meat is not as delicious as it is nutritious. Under normal circumstances, we would not bother hunting Yuki by game, as game, but as you may have heard, this is not normal circumstances. Arrows too must be reused when possible. A prudent measure because becomes necessary, lass. But with every passing day, our future grows more uncertain. But this day we shall have full bellies, and that um, that must we take solace. And wayward travellers need not risk the ire of vengeful Yuki by wandering near my neglected kill. Strange sigh passes your lips. Have I said something odd? No matter. Thank you again for your aid. Mike, you killed him. Why didn't you take care of the corpse? Jeez. You had to like run away and make sure and have somebody else do it. Hey, Fumi. A diamond was raised in the mountains of his homeland. The first time he saw the sea was after he fled his homeland and came to us. He tosses and turns in his sleep, and when he takes to the water, it's not long before he, is, he can no longer stand. But he will grow accustomed to his life. He is hardly the first, after all. The captain, too, was once of Doma, though he cast all aside twenty, twenty and five years ago when the Imperials took his lands and the lives of his parents and brothers. Perhaps you too will renounce your ties and join us someday? Aye, I mistook you for a recruit before, but I know your tale now. And so we unfold it all. Thank you for... Think of my offer, Westerner. You may find small joys in the land, but the sea holds salvation. Hey, do a little... Uh... Clean up here. Just all these quests, I'm just gonna like pass aside. Uh, just so that the, the only objectives that you see are the objectives we're actually doing. Doing on stream, of course. Ah, we get some food. Hurase is uh, impressed of your industrious nature. There are 265, I won't need them. You've been busy, haven't you? And now you're here to ask if you need help with anything. Well, now that you mention it. Lately, we've been... 
a row. Lately, we've been we've had trouble. With ravenous sharks have been sleeping out of the water and making off with our fish. Damn this thing, you know. But you wouldn't doubt if you saw it. We got to call the thieving bastards regularly. So what happens I sent three of my my mates out there before you came along. Still, the more the merrier. If you could kill two or so, that all be enough. Take a few of these rotting fish as bait. I'll not be needing them. Oh, and maybe see if you can't find the other group. I've been away longer than I like. Oh. So I'm on land, and I'm using rotted fish. So a shark will come on land. Where's the other spot? Over here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Do -do 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 -do. There. Oh, call me be praised. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't come along. My partners and I got separated when we fled and we had we haven't seen them. You haven't seen them, have you? Damn. Before the Kojins started chasing us, the leader asked us if we were gentlemen. There are yachts who use catches, I know it. First Asari and now this. I've got to tell Roshio and the others. Uh, I can just teleport back to Kara. Ah, there you are, it's a ghost. I heard you went shark hunting. We too did our fair share of beast calling, though I think Lise made a stronger impression than you when she bested a drunken pirate in a spy match. That's a knockout to date, I'm told. 
I should think like to think we have proven ourselves to be rather. Hmm? Why do I have a feeling you have something important to tell me? Cojan mercenaries rounding up Confederate uh, Doman Confederates. Surely Yatsu has crossed the line now. Must go and speak with Rosho immediately. Even he cannot deny that this changes everything. At least, I should like to think that he cannot. Compassionate acquaintances return. For your deeds, we owe you many thanks. Since there's audio, don't even narrow the audio up. But something tells me our thanks are not sufficient. The strange thing is, I was certain you understood our position. And yet here you are with that same look in your eyes and those same words upon your lips, I'll wager. I speak only the truth. The Confederacy will not be spared Yotsuyu's wrath. You have always known this, that one day you would have no choice but to stand up to the Empire. I say to you that day is today, and come once more to ask that you join us in the fight. How convenient that recent events should lend such credence to your claims. Tell me, do death and destruction always follow in your wake? They had no part in it, Tansui. You know this. We all know this. They came and took our Doman brothers. They will torture them for her sport. Murder them for her satisfaction. So we attack and get butchered for our trouble? Or do naught? and let them have their pound of flesh. If this be our choice, I say we suffer the ignominy. We endure, we survive. There is no better path. Until the day our enemy is grown weaker and we stronger, there can be no retribution. We will wait for a sign. Such is the judgment of the Confederacy. So that's it then. You're just going to abandon them to her. They'd die for you, you know, for the Confederacy. They would die for you, but you wouldn't even think to risk your lives for theirs. I have one last idea, if you will allow. I'm afraid it's not very good as ideas go. It's exceedingly reckless, in fact, and you may well come to despise me for ever having suggested it. Assuming we survive, that is. The question being, do you trust me? Alright. I believe the first time I went through this on Elegos, I said, do you even need to ask? Uh, but Essegos is a different character than than Elegos. I mean, he's small, he's tiny, people underestimate him all the time. Uh but and if you do, he'll beat you up beat the crap out of you with his fists. So I'm gonna say that's me again later. We can't stand by and let innocent people suffer, here or anywhere else. I'll do whatever it takes. Then let us roll the dice. If it's a sign you want, we shall give you one. One rousing enough to make you drive every Garlean out of Isari without a second thought. You are wary of invoking the ire of the Imperial forces stationed in Dome, correct? Know then that once we have rescued our comrade and freed Asari, we mean to liberate the nation as a whole. You will doubtless require assurances that we are capable of achieving this, and that is only fair. 
Accordingly, we shall demonstrate our seriousness by depriving the Garleans of a key ally, the Kojin. <laughs> what, the three of you just like that? Actually, my esteemed colleague here will attend to it on his own. But the how of it is not your concern, only the outcome. If we succeed, you help us liberate Asari. If we fail, you lose nothing. A simple enough wager, if you have the stones for it. The Little Miss does make it hard to refuse, does she not? Words are air. We will weigh you by your deeds. <laughs> I love how Alize just basically said, Oh, no, 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 Essegos will do it all on his own. The thing is, that single moment, that is a boost to Essegos' ego. <laughs> This, this means that, that when he says, ask me again later, he totally like, oh yeah, yeah oh, what you just said, saying that I'm going to do it on my own because I will, because he's an overconfident little bastard. <laughs> totally true. He's, 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 she didn't, she didn't just like make a deal with uh, the Confederates here. She also boosted Essegos' ego, which might not necessarily be a good thing, but hey, that's role play for you. All right, I think we're done with the, the talk, so let's turn down the volume. All right, uh, I need to uh, clear all my bags. <laughs> Let me open my chocobo bank. Do I have? Oh, I have a ton of space. My chocobo bank. All right, these weapon coffers I can put away. Uh, let's all this bait can, can go in there. I'm not currently fishing. Uh, we'll put the the tomes. Uh, we'll keep those out. I really need to 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 to, to, to clean up my bags. So, alone you will deal with the Kojin? If you are set upon this course, I shall give you a word of advice. Two factions uh, have the Kojin. The mercenaries who serve the Empire belong to the Red. Those who belong to the Blue are the traitors. They have made no pact with the Imperials, and so may be willing to aid your cause. Seek the Blue at the Isle, Isle of Beko. There, there you will find a cave. The rest is up to you. Thank you, Captain. We shall endeavor not to keep you waiting over long. For we'll sign. Right then, let us head for. Wait, where is Lise? We cannot leave without her. Like, why did she just like up and disappeared? Grabbing that from later.
All right. That's a... Uh... The Aether quest. Or uh, Aether current quest. We, since this is all here, I'm going to see how quickly I can get through this. This is not important to the main story, so I'm skipping through it. I've already seen it. I said I was skipping through this, but I was reading stuff. I forgot <laughs> exactly what happened here, but that's okay. The important part is I get the ether current. Uh, unfortunately, I think I need to go back to Kagane to do that. But this the stream is focused on the main story quest. <laughs> So here's my goals right now is I'm going to use uh, Essigos here as the main story quest uh, and role quest. And then once I've gotten all of those taken care of, uh, I'm going to pop into um, we're going to pop over to Elegos and Using New Game Plus, play through each class's class quest line. Here's Lise. Oh, that's a ghost. What is it? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wander off. I just wanted to have a think. Your word, you won't be able to live up to our promises. No, it's, it's not like that at all. If anything, I'm frustrated that I didn't think of it first. Ida and my father had a way with words. They knew how to inspire people, how to bring them together. I always hoped I might ha have something of that in me too, but I'm starting to think I don't. What am I even doing here? Please. You... God, listen to me. I don't know where that came from. Forget I said anything. We have places to go, Imperials fight, friends to save, and we're not going to get any of that done by standing around here moaning, right? Right? Before we saw tra we first traveled to Garabania, I was in the settlements of visiting, visiting a friend, a young child who had been through a great deal. That's neither here nor there, I suppose. Anyway, on the way back, I promised I passed a pastry which sold some of the most ex exquisite looking tarts I had ever seen. I'd always preferred, preferred cookies, to be honest, but nevertheless, I decided to stop and try one. I'll treat you to one when all this is over, as goes too, and I won't take no for an answer. What about Yashtola? We'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> all right, all right. Yashtola too, once you're, she's better. Deal? Good. Then let's hurry, shall we? We have a million things to do before then. And yes, this is important to us. All right. We, oh. We're going to the Isle of Beko. Guess where that is? It's over there. 
We're gonna go swing. Where is she? Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna I gotta do something quickly. Huh? There's supposed to be an aetherite shard right over here, or or aetherite, a shard. Shard is in cities for for with ethernets. Like I'm right on top of it. Where 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 is it? They could bark him out 47 minutes. Gonna take a break in 40, 47 minutes because these company actions will not uh, <laughs> reapply themselves. That reminds me, what, what rank am I in the. I'm a citizen. Here we are. I think this is the Isle of Pecco, though to be honest, it looks the same to me as however many other isles around here. Russia said there was a cave that should lead us to the village. We should search further inland. I don't know about you, but this cave looks like it's the entrance to something. I found Lise and... There's that Lise. This is definitely architecture. And we're underwater. Because <laughs> they're talking. We uh, appear to be standing inside a giant bubble by the 12. I think we're on the seabed. Well, well, I thought I heard familiar voices. Soroban, what are you doing here? Hmm, what a curious question. I live here. Then this is the home of the Blue Kojin. Just so. I bid you welcome to Tamamizu. So where was that ethernet shard? Or ether etherite crystal? It was underwater. <laughs> Unfortunately, fortune, we will find a familiar fla face in this place. We should tell Sorban about our situation. If anything, if anyone here can help us, is it him? 
D65. I don't need it, so I'll take the uh, materia. Tell me, my friends, what strange tides bear you to our home? I'm probably turning down the ball. Near me. I, I explained the situation. <laughs> As indeed a most dire uh, predicament, but perhaps an opportunity for us to craft yet another profitable arrangement. Very well, I shall introduce you to our leader, Bunshin. It will be up to you, however, to present your case. All right. One key, th key thing here. We're at a place with an etherite crystal. What do you do? You tune yourself immediately. N nothing else matters. You turn yourself to the etherite crystal. Oop, oh, that's player. Is this voice acted? Welcome, guests. Oop, sorry. We thank you for your hospitality, honored elder. Pray forgive me my brevity, but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. And I explain the situation. <laughs> So, you seek to compel our red brothers to forego hostilities for a time. That's right. We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something. Lisa's having that, like, lack of confidence issue. Right now. <laughs> From far above, you have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion, and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. We Korjin covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. Yet, how were we to seek these treasures above if we made enemies of the Galian Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are? Wiser to join with them, so resolved the Red Kojin. Cautiously and carefully, for the Galians are blind to the Divine. Nor will they suffer their subjects to see. So the Red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. To honor the divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path. Aye, aye. Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. While our red brothers live by the sword, we blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans and judgment for the doings of the Red falls unjustly upon the Blue. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. 
This cannot continue. On that point, we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause, then? There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the Divine. Assurances must first be had. Trust forged. A bargain struck. Well said, Elder. In great crises is great profit to be had. Delight not overmuch in such things, Sorobon. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right? <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break because uh, I'm going to uh, grab the coffee, which I've been uh, cooling for reasons. Aw, and Truly Wicked uh, gently pats me. Aw. Thank you, Truly Wicked. Although, actually, uh, my character would punch him in the face. I mean, don't, don't you dare patronize me! Anyways. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Just... just just a few seconds. It's not going to be long. I also need to run to use the red. Oh, be right back. back listen well my friends you require your assistance with the search for a priceless treasure the Yaskani no Magatama this jewel this most sacred of Kojin relics was in the possession of Hingashi until they decided to present it to the Galians in a gesture of conciliation the red would not not abide this, so they plotted to seize the vessel, bearing it to, to the Imperial masters. Alas, though, they succeeded in the ensuing chaos. The Magatama was lost to the sea. We wish, wish to recover the sacred jewel for our brothers. However, were we to come into conflict with them, it would be problematic. Therefore, we turn to you. If you want us to search 
If you want us to search the ocean floor for this treasure of yours, I'm not sure how we'll be supposed to be able to do that without, you know. Drowning? Fear not. There is a ritual I can perform to imbue your bodies with the with a powerful blessing. But first, we must prepare offerings for the sea. I require a twisted ruby coral, several fixed side sea snail shells, and a freshly harvested unqui uh, carapace. That's quite the shopping list. I will see to the shells, and these can look for the coral. Eskos, would you go and find an unqui and relieve it of its carapace? Basically, we will uh, uh, soon have the ability to breathe underwater. <laughs> so while we go hunting, I'm going to uh, uh, explain something. Is um, So head cannon. For me, Elagos is the warrior of light. Just flat out, he's the one. It, that's it. Essigos is a monk that he meets on the way. Uh, they both join the Pugilist Guild at the same time, and they any of the monk quests aren't just Elagos, but Elagos and Essigos are are there at the same time. So any of the the class or job quests are done with a per, a character of the same thing. So they're kind of like Elagos is everything. He's the one who can, you know, do he trains and is, is basically basically can do any of these jobs. But he has somebody, but he has a friend, a, a partner, um, or a group of people who end up like essentially uh, becoming that group of friends uh, and join him in his you know, fight, whatever you want to call it. And um, whenever I would do whatever, I come to a point where I'd be doing group content. Whoever's he he gathers some of these people and does does that content. So no matter what he has, uh, he'll end up having four people that will have a tank. I'm pretty sure that I haven't quite fully like defined everything, but like the gunbreaker will be a Hrothgar. Dark Knight haven't quite figured out the gladiator. I kind of think the glider and the marauder would would also be row, and I'm not necessarily sure with with everything else. Uh, but if anything, Essigos is the monk. There you go. Also, by the way, Kojin. The Kojin, they, you know how they look like turtle people? They got shells and everything. Those shells are not their own. They're more like a backpack. <laughs> like the way they carry around stuff is in a shell, a carrier paste that they that they get from somewhere else. The specifics on how that works, I don't know, but. I'm in my wind stance just to kind of like 
give myself a little bit of extra speed boost. I'm not sure if it works when I'm mounted, but... Until a point where I really think I need need a, the damage boost, I'll switch over. Or once I remember. <laughs> well, have you the uh, the inquiry? Uh, cutter pace? Yeah, here you go. It's way bigger than me, but here you go. <laughs> How oh, splendid they are. The Kami shall be most pleased, I am sure. I got it. I got the ruby coal you wanted. And I, the sea, sea snail shells. They're, they're about the size of my fist, though I realize now that, that you may have meant yours. These shall more than suffice for our purpose. Next, we, we must make ready to present them to the sea and perform the ritual. Once this has been completed, we'll be able to move freely through the depths and find the Yashikani no, Yashikani no Magatama. Out of curiosity, how large is this sacred jewel of yours? Unless it's far too large to be carried by the three of us, how are we supposed to even find it? The Ruby Sea is not exactly small. Ha ha ha! Surely you realized we have been searching... We have been searching this whole time. The area you, we wish you to explore is but a small fraction of the Ruby Sea. Already have we scoured most of the seabed near and within our territory to, to no avail. All that remains is the region to the west. The shellers of Sweden or Sato uh, can provide you with better guidance than we. You would do well to visit them first. Shellers? I mean, the Kojin aren't the only ones living under the sea. Of course not. The rain have been here as long as I've, I can remember. Shiosai, the overseer, I believe, can tell you more when you arrive. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. We have yet to carry out the ritual. Are you ready, my friends, to explore a world unlike any you have ever known? Then let us go to the western part of the village where the water, water twists and turns, and there complete our preparations for the ritual. This is excited. He dove into the water a moment ago and said to wait here until he returned. It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words, and let all else wash away. Listen to my words, and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. 
The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. <laughs> This, this is one of my favorite parts about this. Alpha Note doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> it's hilarious. And it comes up frequently. It's great. Somehow the boy just isn't very buoyant. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mm, skilled or no, your bodies are ill-suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. But first, let us take to the water. That's all easy. She's, a, she, she's definitely one that that it, that will just like plunge in. Incredible! I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. Take us all the way to the deepest depths of the sea. And so they may. After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kosetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends. And may the Kami speed you on your way. We'll find that treasure in no time. Come on! I'm just going to sit here and stare at the stingray. Diving unlocked. So now it's going to tell me about the mechanics of this. Owing to Sorbonne's blessing, you may now dive into deep water and stay submerged indefinitely. Underwater settlements like uh, Tamamizu and Suino Sato can be accessed via circular portals. To leave deep water, you need only swim toward the surface. Conversely, to dive into deep water while swimming to the surface, Press control spacebar. Should you become separated from your steed, speak to Sp Soroban uh, in Tamazu, uh, Tamamizu to mount a striped ray. Check that out. We did cross legged, just chilling. Hmm? 
This must be Suinosato, the the rain village Saraban told us about. Right then, let's see if we can. They can't help us find the Kojin and uh, Missing Jewel. Actually, you should probably say Kojin. Kojin. Now perform underwater emotes. <laughs> Melsa 67. If this is Sweden Sata, then Chiyosai, the overseer, must should be around here somewhere. I dare say one of the locals would be able to point, point us in the direction. So now that I look around, I get the distinct impression we are not welcome here. So, this is our man. Leave this place and never return. We have no need for wild, wild eye wanderers. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. My name is Lys. These are my friends, Essegos and Alize. We're looking for the overseer of Suinosato Shiosai. That's you, isn't it? The Cojun and the Blue sent you here. Hither did they? I am no overseer, nor ever would I claim to be one. I am high priest of Chisui of this Violet Tides, Yosai. So you are the man we're looking for. Great. We need your help. We're looking for this jewel called the Yasakanino. Stop. I will hear no more. We will suffer no outside troubles in our sanctuary, especially those of of would-be treasure hunters. Derp, derp. Quiet, Isubi. Or there will be no dangle for for dinner. Ahem. I can do not to aid you. I say to you again, leave this place and never return. At the very least, sir, you might con you might condescend to tell us of your village, and of why you are so loath to show us even the most basic courtesy. Sweet Nosato is our sanctuary. Under the benevolent leadership of the Ruby Princess, sovereign of Chisui, we reign we enjoy humble yet fulfilling lives. But it was not always so. Long ago, our forebears were driven from their ancestral lands. Beneath the waters, they sought refuge from the ravages of war, and here they flourish. All that we are, our culture, our traditions, are born of the sea, as was I. Though we have engaged others in diplomacy, it has ever been with utmost caution. Isolation and independence are essential to preserving our way of life. Though so it was when Doma fell 25 years past, the Ruby Princess, in her wisdom, decreed that we would take no part. As it was, ever so shall it. Never and never apart. Forgive me, I understand how high you value your way of life and how you will suffer none to endanger it. You may be assured that we have no desire to do so. I would hope that you would be given. We have given you no cause to assume otherwise. You have not, but this changes nothing. Regardless of your intentions, it is not my place to break with tradition. I must consider the wishes of all who call Sweeno Sato. Oh, for me to defy this, their will and permit outsiders to remain would be a gross betrayal of my responsibilities. Please do not ask this of me. Thank you for your time, sir. And so it continues. Another village, another deputy. Clearly, Gerabanya is not the only place with the walls. 
I'm starting to to wonder if this was all a huge mistake. Gosetsu could have couldn't have known we would take this long. I only hope he's still alive. Meanwhile, in the tavern of Sorry. I think this is voice acted. I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name-calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashihai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss, bottomless, insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oaf go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor Lord Cayenne. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy, for a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell me, how did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? that you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. In the what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail? You had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death. That he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins. But I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like me. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. 
and I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody stupid... <laughs> oh! When I get back to Eorzea, I'm gonna find that little shite, and I'm gonna make him pay. If Esgo's heard you call him little, you would definitely have a, 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 a basically ground beef for your face. Don't call us because little. It's a sore spot for him. All right, we're done with the voice acting. You seem to have reached an impasse. And to make matters worse, every solution I can think of will, will only take more time. I don't suppose you have any ideas, do you, Eskos? This is very Eskos. Find some red. Uh, Read Cosian and encourage them to talk. Hmm. The thought of administrating little encouragement does have its appeal. I would need to be convinced that the Red Cosian knew anything about resorting to violence. You are the ones who came from above, yes? If you could have a moment of your time. Hmm. Uh, my apologies. My, oh, Sorry, it was... Because I didn't know who it was, I gave the, the wrong voice. Although it could have been the woman who was speaking. Yeah, whatever. My apologies. I did not mean to startle you. My name is Hinami, and this is my Yunagi. We were wondering, have you heard any news from Doma? If so, we would like very much to hear it. May I ask why? If you must, our daughter fought in the rebellion. We have heard not from her since. It would be too much to hope that you know her, but her name is Yugiri. Oh, well, well you see, she was fighting for Lord uh, Kayan, and uh, she took some refugees. Kami be praised. She lives. She lives. You're looking for her, too. We're looking for her, too, actually. I'm sure she's all right. We have no idea she hailed from Sweeno Santo. How did she come to serve Doma as a shinobi? It all began when she was a little girl. She and another child crept out of the village, having grown curious about the outside world. To Doma they went, where they met a young boy, a proud son of... So then, Sor of... That's Sor? No, it's on. My screen has a uh, blotch on it. Son of Yangsha. His tales of imperial oppression left a lasting impression on her. When she returned, she spoke passionately of the Bidoman's plight and urged us to take the boy in. But my wife and I would not hear of it. We thought the matter closed, but she never forgot his words. She became convinced that the Guardians would one day come for us, and it was in search of the strength to defend us that she left years ago to learn the ways of the Shinobi. When the then Ruby Princess learned of this, she forbade Yugiri's return, lest she bring misfortune to us all. We protested the judgment, but there was not we could do, and so our daughter who wanted only to keep her people safe. Surely there is something we can do for these people. They who gave her aid and succor would no other would. I am but a humbled stonesmith, but it is 
But if it is the Yasami kind Yasakani no Magakama you seek, I may yet be of some assistance to you. The jewel is known to possess an unusual property. To the naked eye it is as jade, but when bathed in a particular light it shimmers with a divine resplendence. I have mined several materials before to find them, and one must use these lamps. They cast an invisible light, light under which the stones sparkle, in the deepest depths, they are invaluable. There is a sunken ship to the east. Uh, through the currents, you may have spirited away her car. Though the currents may have spirited away her cargo, we should begin your search there. Thank you very much. We will do just that. I hope that you. Hope you find that which you seek. I only wish there was something more we could do to assist you. Know that you'll be in my prayers. And then next next you see our daughter, pray tell her not a day goes by that her parents and her brothers do not think of her. We will, I promise. This is not an Aether Current Quest. I don't think so. Let me double check. Oh, it is an Aether Current Quest. You are a man from above. I am Kurenai, sister of the Ruby Princess, the ruler of the seas. Your bearing bespeaks his... Uh, we'll skip through this. That's for later. In the meantime, we go this way. Uh... And yes, your mounts can swim with you. If this is the wreck of the self-same vessel of which uh, Zoroban spoke, then if the gods are good, the Magatama is nearby. Ready your lamp and keep your eyes open, Eskos. We're going to need to take this slowly. Move too fast and we risk overlooking something. You cannot say for certain. You think you glimpse a flickering light in the distance. Can you can you give me a a direction? For an instance, you spy a flash of light closer. There, peeping out from beneath a fine layer of sand, you spy something shimmering. I swear, looking for a needle in a haystack would be quicker. Gosetsu would have died in old age by the time we finish. You have found anything, have you, Eskos? This, this is it? The Yasakani no Magatama. Exactly as Soroban described. Yes, I would seem our fortunes have finally changed for the better. Much as I would like to return and thank Yugri's parents for their assistance, time of the, uh, of the essence. I say we make for Tamamizu at once. 
Hold on to it for now, Eskos. Once we arrive, present it to the Elder, and then we will finally le learn how to deal with the Red Kojin. Oh, wait. Let me see. All right. Quick break. I wanted to get he here because it means I'm in a rested area, which means no matter what, I'm going to be earning maybe just a little bit of rested XP. But I'm actually going to do something. Uh, I think I need to do some administrative duties. Make some uh, some things easier <laughs> for me. So this will give you a little peek into uh, free company management. All right, actions in the battle. And reduce rates. All right, got those. I'm going to do a quick something. Uh, just route to Peacekeeper. Firm. Really, hold on. All right, cool. There you go. I just wanted to get the uh, key to the battle and the reduce rates uh, buffs back up. That's the only reason why I did this. I'm gonna lock out. <laughs> Switch back back to Essigos. But Essigos is now a, uh, a, a peacekeeper, so he can actually execute those actions. So in the future, if this should be a problem. There should happen. Uh, I don't need to switch characters in order to reactivate the the buff. So, so head canonically speaking. And that's right. I said head can canonically speaking. All of this is being done by by Elagos. Meanwhile, I would suspect that Esagos is probably hanging out with Wittergelt and uh, kind of helping him uh, uh, put together the Fist for Frogger. Maybe. All right. Your return, and with the Yasakani no Magatama, I trust. Yep, here it is. Yes, there's no mistake. Well done, well done. So, with the Red Kojin, you said there was a way to make them retreat into their shells. Are you, sh are you, are you ready to tell us now? I did indeed, and yes, I am. For you see, divinity resides not only in material vessels, but in individuals, and they in claim to the most sacred of treasures, you have demonstrated an affinity with the divine. To treat with men and women such as you is to invite fortune into our homes. Gladly will we aid your cause. Yes. All is ready, Sorbonne. Then give them what they require. This, this is a ceremonial knife of some sort? Before this, before this blade, that which is sealed, 
sealed shall open the treasure vault of the Koji on the Isle of Zeki. It is there that our most prized relics, uh, be, be they of the red or the blue, are kept safe. Yes, they do the red guard it, for their contents are more precious than their lives. Were the vault to be attacked, their response would be, by necessity, be immediate. Gojin will be summoned from mums around to defend their treasures. And were we to sow enough chaos, the reds in service to the Imperials would have no choice but to answer the call as well. Giving the Confederacy the sign they had been waiting for. Without the Gojin, the Gojin, the Imperials don't have nearly enough troops in the Sai to hold off the pirates. However, you must understand that the vault is holy ground, home to a thousand thousand kami. To intrude upon it without paying the proper respects is a sacrilege we cannot condone. So if we were to pop the, pay the proper respects, it would be, be all right. Great. How do we do that again? Yasakani no Magatama is one of the three most coveted treasures of the Kojin. And the other two lie within the vault. For you to deliver the jewel on to the others and thereby make them whole, the kami may forgive your, trespa your trespass and instead delight in your mischief-making. So basically, we retrieved one of the things we actually needed in order to effectively do this and also pay respects to the kojin. <laughs> So, if I understand you correctly, you want us to take the sacred jewel coveted by your red red brothers and deliver it to their treasure vault? More or less. The Yasa, Yasakani no Magatama belongs in the Isle of Zeki. So long as it finds its way there, we are satisfied. The Magatama has chosen you to bear bear it to its brothers. Had it not... Had it not... Excuse me, I'm using the wrong voice. Had it not... Not you would never have found it, and we would not have be having this conversation. Uh, okay. <laughs> I shall inform the Confederacy of your plans and bid them make ready to act when the time is right. The Isle of Zeki lies to the west of Suinosato. Look for a cave beneath the waters. May fortune favor you in this and all other endeavors. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Well, that's not guide. I have my reasons for this. Right then, I have no. I'm not normally in the habit of sneaking to heavily guarded treasure vaults, but this is the only way to convince the Confederacy to act, then so be it. You should be prepared for a fight. The bigger the better. The kind where you'll wish you had seven of your most battled hardened friends at your side. This isn't for uh, foreshadowing anything. I don't know about, about you two, but I'll, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Me too. Let's do this. Right, right. Not left to say then. To the Isle of Zeki! <laughs> right. Let's go and find that cave. <laughs> right. Right. A plesiosaur. This seems more appropriate for for swimming. <laughs> yes, I have a variety of mounts.
do something. I have no mount speed. I have not been been graced to have it yet. Here we are. And guess what? Assuming this is the right cave, it would lead us straight into the heart of the Isle of Zeki. Have you got any plans for once we get inside the Isle? Hmm. How about two of us uh, get the guard's attention while the third heads straight for the vault? Afterwards, the other two join them there, and together we make a stand. With our, our numbers, it's not feasible to do anything more complicated, I think. Fine by me. I like simple plans. I'll be one of the decoys, then. You read my mind. I also had a mind to ask Eskos to be be one, given his peerless martial prowess. I gotta beat some faces? Hell yeah! Then it's settled. You two make your, your way through the stronghold, creating as much chaos as possible. You know, have some fun. Lisa and I, monk bros. Uh, well, girl, so uh, siblings, both. Meanwhile, I'll attempt to locate the vault and gain entry with the ceremonial knife. When I'm inside, I will contact you via Linkpur. Right, come on, let's go. We've got work to do. Yeah. Beat some faces. All right. I know... There is an my the last ether card is somewhere in here. Still swimming. It, wait a minute, which way was it? The south. There it is. Uh, I think I need. Oh, shit. Avoid the level 70. <laughs> right up here. There it is. He just needed one more. This is what I was waiting for. I could only get to this once I could breathe water. <laughs> Now I'll be able to fly in the Ruby Sea once I get uh, four other quests done. And I've got two in tail. All right. Uh, that's done. I can get back to main story. Time to cause some trouble. Uh, let's get my Jokobo out. We have this thing.
Oh, I am totally going the wrong way. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide these. Here we are. Alright, let's try this again. All right, let me, let me heal up. Oh. Somebody died. There you are. Good luck. There you go. No, it's like what's all right. I hope Elise, Elise is all right too. Yes, Ghostlies, can you hear me? I found the vault. Head northwest. There's a passage leading deeper within. Hurry. There you are. The entrance is straight ahead. Good timing, I might add. It sounds like a whole garrison is heading straight for us. I need to get my food buff back, too.
in the world? made us whole. Hark! A great Kami stirs. Yes, yes. A great Kami of the sacred treasures. Oh, great Kami, we beseech your intercession. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations, your faithful Kojin. It was I who made you whole. Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, son of man. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen, and for their loyalty we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. Oh, perfect. A contest of wills, just what we need. <laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day, your wish shall be granted. Curse neither your fate nor its executor, children of man, for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth, the ringing silence, the raging calm. Apparently, these artifacts have a lot of ether. Also, they're worshipped, and ha people have a lot of faith that these are sacred relics. Uh, I think it's fine. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. And in revelry do we rejoice. That, that's a primal standing in front of us, right? And a horde of angry Kojin at our backs. Oh, this contest is getting worse by the moment. Lise, help me clear a path. Leave them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Make way! Make way! Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man! The dish will be served, whether you will it or no! <laughs> Uh, let us prepare. We're, 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 we're trying to do a fair fight, right? Right? We're, 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 we'll be right back. We'll be right back. But we need to go get our, get in our best because, hey, you want a good fight, right? You don't want to just, like, come in and just immediately crush us, right? You want to fight, right?
How do I dare you? There. She's just trying to continue her main story quest. It is so rude of you to be trying to attack her. That was not part of the plan. Kojin Paimo is most definitely not part of the plan. Though I'm sure there's perfectly logical explanation involving the Aether stored in the uh, treasures in the religious fervor, which the Kojin uh, guard them or something. Uh, pity Alphano isn't here to provide it. But just when I thought our fortunes have changed, I swear if Sorobon and his people knew this might happen. No, somehow I doubt that. Even the Red seems surprised by what happened. All rises and falls at the whim of capricious fortune, does it? Then the same goes for him. We have to defeat that primal. As before, number, numbers limit our options. I wish I could claim to have a brilliant plan, but I don't. All I have is a desperate one. Please, you and I will do our best to draw the cojun away from the primal. We'll lead them to a while on a wild dodo chase all over this isle. The rest, rest of the plan, I'm afraid you can guess. I'm sorry, Eskos, I truly am, but neither of us can even approach this on him, much less to defeat him, which means you're on your own. Well, who knows? He does have an awful lot of adventurer friends. Uh, mayhap some of them decided to take a fishing trip to the far east and we're surprisingly close by. Yes, and I speak fluent Hingin. Come on, there's no point in pu putting this off. Now accessible. This is a great pause point for uh, for this and uh, a break point for videos. So I'm going to close out the stream. I gotta take a quick break, and I will be right back. I mean, it's not gonna be long five, ten minutes, maybe or less. Just stay tuned, but. Be right back. 